Hey guys, how's it going? We have a continuation of yesterday's breaking news. We will go over the current normalized flux graph of Tabby Star for today, August 8th, and we will show you a light curve update from Bruce Gary showing that Tabby Star is going even deeper into its current short-term dimming event. And we will also briefly show you a couple of light curves from the Tabby team that have been fixed up properly by Bruce Gary showing the same short-term dimming. So this is the light curve taken in the V-band by Bruce Gary. Here he takes into account properly the long-term accelerating dimming curve of Tabby Star as the nominal flux line. And today's measurement is now at approximately 0.9% below the nominal level and is in steep decline as you can see by the slope of the line. This seems to be a strong beginning to this short-term dimming event and I am wondering if this uh, might be the beginning of a record dimming event. So this is a fixed up graph of the Tabby's team R-band normalized flux curve, which does not include an adjustment for the long-term accelerating fade. Bruce put in a long-term dimming curve to show how the curve should have declined over time before the detrending took place. And this is the current short-term dimming event, which will seem artificially deeper because the data points were artificially raised. And this is the same data in which Bruce correctly adjusted the light curve with the long-term accelerating dimming taken into account. Notice how the dip is not as pronounced in this corrected version. It's amazing how much better these light curves look when they are properly done. And it's hard to understand why they are neglecting the long-term accelerating fading in their light curves. Well, guys, we will let you go. Take care, and we will see you in our next video.